Hi there, Aquarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of June 2023. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out in the monthly format. We're going to break it down week by week with the overall energy. Let's get started with your overall energy. Aquarius, you have the Nine of Cups in the upright position, which is the Wish Fulfillment card. So there could be something coming your way that's going to be very much to your liking and um, it will be a wish fulfillment for you so i uh, remember these are just general reads so just take what makes sense to you um, and uh, i want to hear about it in the comment section below let me know what's going on aquarius but yes a uh, beautiful energy to have as your overall you could be very excited uh, very celebratory energy as well sometimes uh, you know, this can be known as the card of excess, so just maybe not party too hard, but this is definitely a very, uh, very much a celebratory energy. This is where we have found something we've been looking for that makes us very, very happy. So it's going to be different for each one of you how it plays out. So let's get to your week to week. Um, week one, you have Major Arcana Temperance rooted down by the Seven of Wands in reverse. The Temperance card is beautiful energy. It's very healing, and it's also very cooperative energy. I call it my Baker's card. This is the card, or the energy, that basically lets us know that we are in the company of like-minded people. Great news for those of you who are just starting a new job. This could be where you look around in week one and go, this is the place for me because I feel very comfortable here. <laughs> For others of you, if you're working on a project with others um, for work or anything like that, very good news. Also, if you're put in charge of any type of social event, either um, professionally or personally, it could indicate that you're mixing and blending and having everybody um, get along very well. Very, very nice energy. And it's rooted down by the Seven of Wands in the reverse position. This is about coming out of a period of feeling uh, protective and defensive. <laughs> Seven of Wands in the upright is where we're kind of waiting for that other shoe to drop. We may have said something or done something, and we're just not sure how it's going to be received. But when it's in reverse, this is where either it was received well, or it could have been in um, in some kind of connection to a group of people or other people you were working with. Maybe you weren't sure if you were going to fit into this new group or this new place or whatever, but now you realize, oh yeah, I fit in beautifully here. Uh, sometimes the seven of wands in the upright can point to feeling protective, protective, like trying to protect our heart or trying to protect our privacy or trying to protect someone else. When the card is inverted, this is when we are either no longer doing that or we don't feel the need to. We're kind of just letting our guard down, right? Now, in week two, you have the Three of Swords in the reverse position, rooted down by the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. Three of Swords in the upright position can point to sorrow, loss, sadness, disappointment, all that kind of stuff. But when the card is inverted, this is where... <laughs> we're coming out of that. We're starting to heal. We're beginning to heal from the sorrow, sadness, separation. Now, this can, can come up, say, say for example, if you um, were, you know, cut from your job, you left your job, or, you know, you something happened there, and you felt really hurt or really betrayed or something like that. This could be um, healing and maybe some kind of restitution, financial restitution being made there. Now, for others of you, it could have been you had some, you suffered some loss or some hurt feelings or a uh, breakup or something like that. Now it's in reverse, so you're healing from that. But remember, when Three of Swords is reversed, it points back to the Two of Swords in the upright, which is um, basically a card that lets you know that you need to make a decision about something, especially when it's connected to the Three of Swords. Um, a situation put you there or brought you there could have been obviously involving other people if this was a breakup or a friend friendship situation now it uh you know it it could be that they've apologized or they made things right especially if there was financial dealings connected to it it's been made right but you still need to make a decision about what you're going to do now 
right? Because if you were put in the Three of Swords in the upright position by another, it could be hesitation there to trust the person again. That's just basically, and it's common sense. I mean, that's what humans do, right? But when it's rooted down here with the beautiful Ten of Pentacles, this is uh, representative of generational wealth. This can indicate inheritance, bonus, extra money coming your way. It could indicate that someone in the family has landed a really good job and they're able to contribute financially to the household. It can uh, represent that uh, you or your spouse has just, you know, got a promotion or something like that. But there's more money coming into the family now. Could be, like I said, a lump sum inheritance as well as a bonus or just extra money coming from somewhere. Week three, we have uh, the Hermit, Major Arcana, the Hermit, rooted down by the Ten of Swords reversed. Now, the Hermit, this is Virgo energy. The Hermit is all about needing to withdraw, to kind of go within. Now, there's several reasons why we need to be in Hermit mode. Sometimes it's to look for information. It makes sense when we're say studying something maybe you're taking a course in something and you're studying and so you just kind of need to be on your own to focus uh sometimes the hermit comes up because we're we're researching and looking on in the you know on the internet we're looking for information that kind of thing and again we need to kind of be on our own other times the hermit comes up because we just need to withdraw go within to try to figure things out Maybe we need to do some self-analysis or something like that to look within. The Ten of Swords in reverse is rooting it down. Now we see the Three of Swords here. It indicates to me that there was a situation that could have bottomed out for you. Aquarius, for some of you, it could have involved finances. For others of you, it could have just been something else. Maybe the financial aspect was in addition to. But for some of you... It could have been that you've lost money or something like that happened due to uh, a job situation or another person. But there's a healing. See, this is a bottoming out when it's in the upright, the Ten of Swords. But when it's reversed, this is where the, the swords start falling out. So there's a healing process happening, indicating that this has been passed now. We've moved on from it. So it's with the Hermit. Maybe some of you are doing some research to try to find out how this happened in the first place. Or maybe you're just going within to process what has happened. But definitely the 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 healing process has begun now. It looks like you've overcome something. Now again, you can let us know in the comment section below what it is you've overcome or what you know you expect to be overcoming in the month ahead. Um Last week, we have the Five of Swords in reverse, rooted down by the Six of Wands upright. Nice. Nice way to end the month for you. Five of Swords in the upright can point to conflict, where we are conflicted uh, within ourselves. This could be inner conflict, where we're of two minds of something, or it's heart versus head. But now we've come out of that conflict. So we're finally, we've made some resolve it's not surprising after the hermit has been here in week three. So looks like you'll be doing some, maybe some self-analysis, some research or something like that. And you're going to be putting something to rest. And the five of swords can, in the upright, can also indicate being at odds with other people. It could be like representative of a family uh, fight. It could be. But this is a verbal fight, right? So this could be a family fight. This could be a fight that's taking place in your neighborhood, a fight that's taking place uh, in the workplace, that kind of stuff. But when it's reversed, this is, again, it's like a ceasefire. This is where the, the battle is over. The battle has come to an end. And it ends in victory because what's rooting it down is the victory card. The Six of Wands in the upright position. So whatever this battle is, it ends in victory. All's well that ends well, right? The Six of Wands is uh, where this is the prodigal son or daughter returns. And this is where we see, uh, you know, a victory after a long, a long hard battle sometimes or a long difficult uh, run. It could be that, you know, we're now seeing the results of it. This is now victory for us. Could have been a hold up in something that you were trying to do. Maybe finances got in the way and you couldn't complete a project, but now you're able to do so. This is ending in victory very, very well. I'm very happy about that. 
and this is also about a lot of attention being bestowed upon you so this is where people are recognizing you for the contribution that you have done or what you put in now whether this be completing a uh, like if you do basically if you compete for a living or if that's a big part of what you do in your hobby that could be indicative of some kind of win at the end of the month for others of you this could be um, a victory in terms of something you've been trying to accomplish or you've been doing for work or your career this could end in a very nice big victory looks like an interesting month for you Aquarius so I can't wait to hear from you guys in the comment section below. Now in closing, I always pull two cards, one for love and romance and one for career and finance from the Zodiac deck. So first we'll be pulling from uh, for love and romance. We have number 23, Free Spirit Aquarius. Now it could be Aquarius, could be the love interest, another Aquarian, or it could be something significant happens in your love life when the moon is in Aquarius or on the 23rd or with the free spirit. <laughs> or maybe you're the free spirit. <laughs> or maybe you're both free spirits. So the next card is for career and finance. So here we have career and finance is uh, Libra number 31. Uh, rebalancing so it could be that something significant happens when the moon is in libra or with or through a libran for your career and finance so that's what i have for you my dear aquarians i want to thank you so much for joining me hope you have a fantastic month of june and i really hope the reading helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and i will see you again next time namaste take care Bye bye